you're a home buyer, somebody or a young person looking to buy a home, you need a bit of a reset. There, there is a possibility on the other side of this that that uh, inflation could be could actually be quite Welcome low. Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is going to be absolutely bonkers and the data is in. Today, what we're going to do is review the reviews from recent homeowners and purchasers of DR Horton. Now, before we get into these reviews, and it's only going to be for December, and I'm going to look at the good and I'm going to look at the bad so you guys can formulate your own opinion. But one of the things that I would strongly recommend to anyone that's interested in purchasing a home, new home, whether it's DR Horton or whoever it is, is you got to vet the builder. Because remember you guys, these builders hire subcontractors to do most of the work. So in some subdivisions, builders are doing okay. But in other subdivisions, you know, again, judging from the comments, builders are not building appropriately. Builders are not building quality products anymore. So very important to do the research on the subdivision and area that you're purchasing. Now, before I get into the DR Horton reviews, I want to give you guys six tips when it comes to purchasing new construction. Again, whether it's DR Horton, Lennar, Pulte, whoever, it is. These are tips that everyone, in my opinion, should take. Now, the number one thing I want to warn you about is do not sign into the builder's database without a realtor, because sometimes doing so, some builders will prevent you from using a realtor and having representation. There is a lack of safeguards for consumers when it comes to purchasing new homes. When we compare that to existing homes, it's an absolute nightmare, but never sign in without your realtor. Very, very important. Now, the second thing is get several inspections. Some of the reviews that we're about to read, a lot of the problems potentially could have been avoided if they would have done an inspection. The problem is, is most people in America assume they do not need to get a home inspection when purchasing new construction because it's new and we can trust them, right? Wrong. You cannot trust them. You need to do home inspections over multiple stages of construction. People don't want to do that because it is kind of expensive. The third thing I warn people about is the purchase contract for new homes is nothing like existing homes. The purchase contract for new homes can be 80 pages and most of it is designed to protect the builder, not you. But nevertheless, do not just sign it. If you don't understand it, stop. Ask, what does this mean? What are my rights? Because you have to understand your responsibilities as a buyer when it comes to purchasing new construction. So beware of that contract. Plus, you guys don't forget, generally the special warranty deed has an arbitration agreement, which means if you sign it, which you have to sign it in order to close, you can't sue them. Imagine that. You can't sue them. Most attorneys don't want to touch lawsuits against new home builders because they have to pierce through court, their arbitration agreement, which is almost apparently impossible to do. Now, the fourth thing, and this drives me crazy. Remember, you guys, I've been doing this for 22 years. I've helped a thousand or more home buyers purchase a home. I have witnessed numerous times in my career, a builder promise something verbally, but when it comes to closing, they take the promise back and say, oh, if it's not in writing, we can't do it. So make sure you get every single promise in writing. It's very, you know, you could trust them, but verify you need what they're promising you in writing. And what's the harm with that? If they're going to follow through with what they're promising, they should have no problem putting that in writing. So beware, you guys. Make sure to get stuff in writing. That is so important. Now, the fifth thing is, is understanding your warranty and taking advantage of your warranty. Most new home builders give a one-year warranty. Usually we call that a bumper to bumper warranty. So some of the strategies that I'd like to tell my clients to do is get a, an inspection on the house 11 months after you purchase it. Because remember the warranty is good for 12 years and whatever comes up on that home inspection, give that to the warranty company and have it repaired. So take advantage and understand how your warranty works. Now, the sixth thing is, is understand that it is generally more expensive to purchase new homes. Generally, your HOA is going to be higher and almost all of the time your property taxes are also going to be higher when compared to purchasing an existing home. All right, guys. So now let's go into four different review sites for DR Horton. And again, I'm going to be unbiased. I don't want to bash DR Horton. I just want to see what homeowners who have actually purchased a DR Horton home recently have to say only in the month of December. We're going to look at the good and we're going to look at the bad. And then at the end, we're going to have a conclusion. And I want to hear from you about what your thoughts are after hearing some of these reviews. So we're going to start with consumer affairs. I would have liked to start with new home source, but DR Horton does not allow them to give reviews for some reason. Very, very interesting. So we're starting with consumer affairs. It's rated 1.3 stars 
out of five stars. And that's based off of 1400 reviews. Very, very interesting, you guys. So almost all one star reviews, you can see that right here. Interesting how much higher KB is rated. Very interesting. And they have a lot more reviews. All I should do a video on KB, but I'm sticking with DR because they're the number one home builder in America. Number one, you guys. So anyways, I filter this by the most recent comments. We're only gonna look at December. So our first comment here is December 23rd. And you guys can see they have only a one star review. This is in Florida. And basically their issue here is the quality of construction. They have issues with the dishwasher, the AC, several other things. If you guys want to come back and read this in detail, go ahead. I'm just going to give you guys the gist of this and make it through four providers as fast as possible. Now, when we go to the second review, this is December 17th. This is in Dayton, Texas. This is only a two star review review and they go into what their issues are guys. And again, their issue here is the process was an absolute joke. The final walkthrough. I mean, you guys seriously read some of this so you know what to look for, right? You need to know what to look for and take it from the people that just went through the process. So here's our next review. This is December 15th. This is in North Carolina, another one-star review. This one is bitter, guys. This guy's basically saying, be careful as the company is extremely focused on the bottom line. And they did not like the sales representative. They're saying they're purely rude. So really, really not happy with the overall process. Again, we can hit more, read this for yourself, but a very horrible review here. Okay, going to our next review. This was December 9th. This was in Florida Gulf Breeze. They do have some pictures. Some of these pictures, some of these reviews, you guys, you got to look at the pictures. The pictures are really, really horrible. So this one is another review on quality of construction, basically saying stucco's falling off their home. The garage cement is breaking apart in chunks, several failures. I mean, you guys need to look at this. This stuff is super, super scary. They are not happy with the supervisor or the CEO. They are trying desperately to get their house fixed. Come back here and take a look at this one for yourself. Next one is a December 5th review. This is another one-star review from Crestview, Florida. You guys, this one has pictures. This, this is crazy. And again, this another issue here, uh, poor quality, poor craftsmanship, and they are having a huge difficulty getting DR to come back out to fix their home after they close. Really, really crazy. And look, again, these pictures are mind blowing guys. You got to come back here and look at these pictures. Okay. Next review is December 2nd in Pensacola, Florida. Another one-star review here, you guys. Water sat for three days in their house. So as a result of that water, again, you, you guys got to look at these, these pictures. Look at this. I mean, it's flooding in their backyard. Really, really not happy. They're having cracks here. I mean, they are definitely, I think they have a right. You know, they bought a brand new house and it's, you know, according, it, it, it appears to be poorly built. I think they have a right to do a one-star review. Very, very bad review right here. Okay, now we're going to the Better Business Bureau. Somehow the reviews are actually lower on the BBB, sitting at a 1.13 stars out of five stars. I mean, absolutely ridiculous, shocking even, you know, rating in reviews. Now the first one's January, so I won't go there. That is a one-star review. Let's just go to December. So here's our first December review. This is a one-star review. This is from December 26. And what these people are saying is stay away from DR. I repeat, stay away from DR. Are. They are definitely not happy. Again, another quality of construction problem right here. Garage door messing up. They're not happy. Their gutters messing up. Backyard floods every single time. So apparently they have also a drainage issue. Come back here, you guys. Read some of this stuff. Next one right here is from December 24th, a day before Christmas. Imagine that. Imagine being this upset a day before Christmas. Another one-star review. They're saying this company should not be in business nor allowed to build homes. The materials, worksmanship, and quality are horrible. I have not seen one good review from the an actual homeowner. So they are definitely not happy. This is something that I would definitely take into consideration if I was purchasing a DR. Okay. So the next review here is from December 20th, another one-star review. This is from a first time home buyer. They hated the loan process. Remember a lot of these builders have their own mortgage company and make it to where you have to use their mortgage company in order to get the incentives. So it's a bit of a monopoly. There is, again, there's a lack of consumer protection. I mean, any professional in real estate knows that. Next review here is from December 18th. This is a one-star review. Almost three months ago, I put in a warranty request for the sod. So their issue is, again, quality of construction. You can see that here. And also an issue with the warranty. You guys got to come back and read this stuff in detail. Another one, another one-star review, December 14th. They bought their house a few months back. And it has been the worst experience 
ever. I did my walkthrough and things were supposed to be taken care of afterwards, but nothing was. And this is why I'm saying, you guys, you got to get stuff in writing. So they did a walkthrough and this happens all the time. So they're saying they did a walkthrough. They're like, hey, this needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed. And the person that was doing the walkthrough with them said, don't worry, we'll fix that. Just close. But when they closed and then they asked for it to be fixed, they just disappeared. Don't close. Okay. Again, whether it's DR Horan, Lennar, Pulte, whoever it is, do not close on a transaction if the home still needs to be fixed. If you do that, you are at the risk of them turning their backs to you. And remember, they know that you can't sue them. They know that already. They're, they're interested in the bottom line. So get it in writing for the love of all that's holy. Please, guys, do not be like that person and assume they're going to take care of it. They should. They should with ethics, morals. They should take care of it, but they don't. And again, that's not just DR. I'm talking the industry as a whole, whether it's DR or not, you have to get things in writing. You have to get things in writing, you guys. Or if it's me, I'm stopping the closing. I'm stopping the closing because the house isn't ready, right? And here's the next one here, guys. This is from December 11th. This is our first great rating. So there is great ratings. This is a five-star review right here. So we got one five-star review. Next rating is December 9th. Again, one-star review. So I think we had what? All one-star reviews and one five-star. This person's saying avoid them. They cut corners and they use word games in their worthless warranties. That's something that is pretty alarming to me. Now, I'm not saying this is a trend, you guys, but some of these reviews are just not good. Now we're going to Trustpilot. They have their highest rating here at 1.6 stars of five stars. So we're gonna go down here and uh, this is in January. Buyers beware, that's January one star. Here's another January one star. So we're gonna skip that. Now here's our first December review. So December review, one star. This was in East Dallas. And you guys, this is basically saying DR Horn doesn't care about bad reviews. I mean, they're the number one builder, right? So maybe they don't care about that. Very, very interesting. Let's look at the next one here, December 3rd. Here's another great review right here. This is a five-star review, their current owner, and they would recommend DR. So not all bad reviews. Unfortunately, two, you know, horrible review, one good review. January reviews are real bad. I don't even want to go into this, but this, this January review is real, real bad right here. All right, guys. And so when I go to Yelp and I look at DR, they, you know, Yelp doesn't have as many reviews. They got 1.3 stars out of five stars. Again, I wish we go to new home source, but they don't for some reason. It's crazy to me that they're not rated by new home source because they're the biggest home builder in America. So how are they not rated by them? Pretty suspicious. If you ask me, you may not be asking me. So when we go here, guys, no December reviews. We have one November review. This is a one star review as well. You know, very, very unfortunate. There's some other stuff here in November. This is a Texas review, but you guys see what I'm saying? Some of this stuff has pictures. This is a one-star review. Let's look at some of these pictures real quick. That looks real horrible. You know, obviously leaks can get through there. That looks like the roof right there. It looks like flashing that was cut right there and pulled up. Not sure why they did that. It looks like they damaged the fascia board. So that's, that would be, I would be upset at that. Some more issues right here. I mean, holy smokes. So it looks like they had issues with leakage here. Very, very interesting stuff, guys. Now, in conclusion, based on just the December reviews, I'm concerned right? I am terrified actually. And as a professional in the industry, I can tell you again, I'm not talking about DR Horton specifically. I'm talking about the industry in whole. Some of the reviews that I just read, you guys, spot on. These types of challenges and problems happen all the time. So if you're going in to buy a new home, please, you guys, don't be naive. Don't fall in love with the house. Go to war. Understand you have to go to war if you want to protect yourself. So again, everything in writing, do your inspections, get someone to represent you that knows how to do this. And don't just assume because the house is new that it's in great condition because the reviews we just read are saying the exact opposite. And personally, I'm going to listen to the people that just purchased the house than the actual builder, because it's the people that purchased the house that really know what's going on. And do me a favor, guys, if you have recently purchased a DR Horton home or you know someone that purchased a DR home, comment below and let us know your intel, whether it's good or whether it's bad, because we want it to be good. We want them to build houses that are good, that are in great shape, not these junk houses. We need more houses in the US. But again, at what cost? At cutting corners? At giving someone a lemon? I mean, you guys, the thing is with a house, this is the biggest financial transaction of most people's lives. And most people can't make the wrong decision. For example, I'm not rich, you guys. I can't afford to make a bad decision. I have to make a good decision when purchasing my next house. So when I see things like this, it's very, 
very concerning to me. And if it was me, I'm taking a step back. I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to ask myself, is it worth it buying a new house when we have all of these potential issues? Now, obviously, again, we could do inspections, but I just don't like it. It's just very, very scary to see that because buying a house is a very, very big deal. But either way, I'm anxious to hear from you guys. And if you're out there investing in real estate, you know that I wish you luck and I hope you win.